Welcome to episode three of the joy of ridge walking with me and my intrepid friend Dave Howell, who's putting on his hunter orange. Go back to check the lead I found in February, and it's brisk wind today. But it's beautiful December day in the 2021. Hey. Well, I haven't smoked in a minute. <laughs> So well, this, uh, this little spring I saw earlier has become a fairly good flow. We're still high up, but uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm getting my hat caught in the leaves, so i get it. That is interesting. Deeper than the other. That's pretty neat, the uh, rock formations there. Look at that. That's carefully. There are rocks under the leaves, but yeah. you can't see them. <laughs> and I choose to do this. We just uh, came through Boulder Field. It's kind of still going stumbling around in these round rocks and stuff and leaves, but look what a beautiful stream this is. Okay, here we are. The lead I found in February, and it's better than I remember. First I was like, are we nuts? I'm trying to find this again, but it actually looks pretty good. Larger rock going down. Mm. Well, that's a flat floor down there. Hmm. Well, here's looking straight down it without a light. Pretty cool. Not the best video of it, but what are you going to do? So, this is limestone. We think we're at the edge of the sandstone limestone joint, which is not a bar in Texas. Okay. You have a light? Yes. It goes down to a floor. We can measure that. In fact, we probably should, but I'm guessing it's in the range of 12 to 15 feet down. Okay. It appears to be a flat floor level. Impossible to say whether the karst feature goes on beyond what I can see. Um, would you like to step down and bring my <laughs> tape? <laughs> I would love to. It Feet. Hmm. Possible to get down there without a uh, rope? I think it would be, but I'm not going to attempt that right now. Okay.
Dave's doing a map check. We know what to look for now. So it'll be a little easier for us to find again. So it wasn't too bad finding it. Really? No. Not bad. The thing is, it's like we found this coming back to the car. We were kind of defeated in finding any leads. And uh, that's just how it happens sometimes. Kind of funny that way. Continue walking in this direction. What direction is that? That is a good question. Let me see. I'm glad you asked. Let me see if I can find the answer. Uh huh. This this direction that I'm pointing is southeast. I thought you wanted to go north. Well, it does. It hooks around. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Classic uh, ridge walk scenario. We want to get over here to look at the bottom of this, and it's, there's just no easy way down. May not translate the camera, but uh, it's kind of an ass bust, and no matter what you do, we want to look at that over there. Let's see what that is. Hmm. That kind of a picture I don't have good success with. Oh, well, it's video, video, so. And well, tell me when and I'll go past you. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Dave's going to check out that hole right there. Right there. And then I'm going to stay at this elevation and he's going to walk at the base of that elevation. So. That's the plan. No lead. Okay. Let's keep looking. We're gonna eat lunch over here and it, this is just a beautiful place that's like a place you don't get to easily. You gotta kinda work for it. But we're in an awesome area. Hopefully we'll find some more caves today. Pretty common for us to see turkeys in the wood. Look, I see one over there. We're straddling either side of this stream. I don't know that crazy man over there. So the stream we had lunch by has gone away and it's a completely dry stream bed. So where did the water go? It's a mystery. We'll hope to solve at some point. Maybe not today, though. Dave is chuckling because I didn't bring a light to the ridge walk. Even though I might have brought a light, it's just buried deep in my pack, and he has one right handy, so, you know. Checking out a little something I found. Loose rocks? Yeah, in your head. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'll get some. All right. Give me just a You know what? This thing is blowing a little bit. Cool. That's amazing. Okay, here we go. You ready? Rock going now. That one did not go. Let's see if I can find another. What do you think? It doesn't seem to go, but I'm intrigued by the fact that there's air movement in there. Yeah, me too. going now. It doesn't go down very far, but that air. It's a mystery. Well, look what I just found. I don't know if it's a known cave or a new one, but it sure is a pretty good little lead there. I'm not complaining. It's a hole in the ground. It's a rattlesnake den.
<laughs> and Dave was gone forever and ever because the cave went all the way to Ruby Falls. You know, in some states that would be viewed as a as a major cave, but in, Alab in Alabama it's not a cave because it doesn't no, have the 50 feet. It is definitely an interesting karst feature. Oh, I'm tired of finding those, you know. This is like the best entrance I've found that goes to nothing uh, significant. It's still cool. Don't conk your head. There's a limb right above your head. There you go. <laughs> that one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what did you see back there? What I saw, it goes down oh, past that initial tight place yeah. to a room probably 15 feet or so in diameter generally round. At the far end of that is a little pit. does not go down far. I'm guessing maybe eight feet, no more than ten. I could have climbed down there, but I could see the entire floor from where I was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could see no lead. Okay. Now there was a little stream of water coming out of a crack in the wall, not enterable crack goes down to a small pool on the floor. So maybe... Where that water goes, I don't know. Maybe another 10,000, 100,000 years, this could be a qualifier. Could be. We're headed back to the car. Yeah. It's going to be a, a, a quick and easy... No, it's oh. not quick. It never is. You're not talking to me. But <laughs> that... Lead I found that doesn't qualify. I really did think it was a cave. I think they moved the cave. Anyway, heading back. Dave just informed me that a GPS is fine, but there's no substitute for a paper map and a compass. Correct. You mean we're lost is what you mean, right? <laughs> That's hopelessly. All right, let's go. Oh, well, now all we have to do is get on top of that. Yeah, a nice boulder field to cross here. Oh boy, that's how it is.